This is Gavarok Fevenor welcoming you to Let's Play Kingdom Hearts. And we're wandering up and down. We're almost about to go into the boss. Yes, are we? Are we going to the boss? Are we going to the boss? No, we're not. Are we going into the boss? Sora, what are you doing? Ah. We're playing around up on the statues. Whee! But that one just takes us to the place we already went to because we went up on that... Uh, Shelf. So we uh, look around stupidly for a little bit because at that point I didn't realise that I'd been there before and I was looking frantically for a chest because I kind of didn't know if I could get back up there and I didn't want to go down and not be able to get back up there and then miss something. But it was okay. This one, however, would let me get something. We we have a chest. Dalmatians. Now, you might be wondering, what the hell is Gab doing going all the way back? Remember that barrel on the ledge that led to the chest that I was trying vainly to get to earlier? Well, I'm going back there to try vainly again, because I'm not going to get it, but I'm still going to go and try. And I'm still going to show you, because I'm evil, and you deserve to suffer. Meh. Let's go back through the hall. Oh, look, the Heartless in the hall came back. Ah, oh, look, but I'm not fighting them. Ah, oh, look, screw you. Uh oh. Uh, cure. Thank you, God. I think Donald healed me there, but then I healed myself afterwards, so. Overhealed, but okay. Let's kill some bandits. And here we are. Now, at this point, I'm actually trying from the ledge. Which is annoying, but I can't seem to get it on the ledge because there's an Aladdin in the way! Luckily Donald's smaller, but I can't exchange Aladdin for Goofy because Goofy's even taller, I'm pretty sure. Now unfortunately there is no put down option, there is only the throw option. So I have to pretty much lift up the barrel and chuck it halfway across the platform in order to get it to the edge. Fantastic. Seem to be quite adept at getting it to the wrong edge. Come on, you know you want to get into the right place for me. You know you do, you know you do. Oh, for Christ's sake. Come on. Barely, barely, barely. Yay! It's actually easier to do it from that way. But um, but Donald, did you just knock the barrel over? <gasps> Donald! God! I hate companions. You can't get rid. <laughs> Aladdin. Get your head out of the way! Please. 
Got you. Ah. Oh. Again. Again. Really. Fantastic. I got a comment in a Spyro video the other day. It said, I am if this is the first time I'm watching your let's plays. I'm trying to attack it to make it move forward, but of course I end up destroying it, don't I? Do you always sing randomly like this? Boy, have we got news for you, mate? <laughs> And there was also Scotty92994 who commented in mon a Monkey Hero video saying, um, Why is it that whenever I send you make a comment, you are in a recording position conveniently checking your emails? Well, it just sort of happens. That time, though, he didn't send that message while I was checking my email while and recording, which would have been quite funny if he had, but so I thought I'd mention it now. God's sake, I don't need it to be there. I want it on the edge of the Ah Mmm Ooh. We're coming very close to the part where the recording cuts off and starts again. This is very close to the part where I give up. I accidentally pressed stop rather than pause recording and so I had to do it in a whole nother DVD the other half hour, but we're getting close, we're getting close. 10 seconds, maybe. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Smack him. Attack a few times, and then boop! There we go. And we're in the lamp. No, not the lamp chamber. The treasure room again, because I gave up, and now I'm going to fight the boss. So screw you! That boy again? He is more persistent than I expected. Why not explain the situation to that boy, Riku? Doing so may actually prove useful to our... Wait a second, are you Maleficent? Jafar, let Jasmine go! Not a chance. You see, she's a princess. One of seven who somehow hold the key to opening the door. Open? But you fools won't live to see what lies beyond it. Genie, my second wish. Crush them! <gasps> Genie, no! Sorry, Al. The one with the lamp calls the shots. I don't have a choice. If you didn't hear me before, because uh, the music might have been, uh, the noise might have been too loud in the game. Um, depends on how loud I make it when I do the video. I said, I wonder what all that background noise is outside. You probably can't hear anything, but I can hear someone shuffling rubbish or whatever the hell he's doing out there. So, probably the same idiot neighbour I've got that always does stuff like that. Doesn't everybody have an idiot neighbour? It's like how everyone has an Uncle Pervy. It's one of the three things that everyone has. An Uncle Pervy, an idiot neighbour... Actually, I don't have a third thing, but I was going to come up with it in the middle of while I was talking. Okay. I mean, I could say a dad that's almost like another kid, but that's not always the case with people. Just, just, just with me. I don't have any brothers or sisters, so that would be my dad filling the role of immature idiot in the family. God, I hope he doesn't watch things. He doesn't. Uh-oh. <laughs> love the way the genie in this battle... You, you fight Jafar. But the genie pretty much just walks around, casts a couple spells, and tries to punch your lights out. But whenever he comes close, he says he tells you to run, or says he's sorry, or says that he has no choice. And it's kind of funny the way you sort of know when he's coming, because he starts talking and then you know to get out of the way. Hey, 
I wanted to beat Jafar before the end of this video, but I ugh, hate that attack. But I don't think I will because I've got 40 seconds and he's quite, quite a lot of health. Yes, he goes. Really sorry about this run, Smack. Come on, materialize, materialize. Oh, good, but oh, I gotta go. All right, uh, this is Gavrok Fevenor saying, fairly well.